further debate. The member for Renfrew, Nipissin, Pembroke. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Pleasure to join the debate today on uh, Bill 107, uh, calling for a referendum, an act to require a referendum before the disposition of the Crown's electricity assets. I've got to tell you straight out front that a referendum is not the, the way that I'd like to be dealing with this, but I have to tell you we've tried an awful lot of other ways since the government announced their plan to dispose, dispose of Hydro One, or at least I should say 60 per cent of Hydro One, we've tried in various ways to convince them that this is the wrong way to go and the wrong reasons for doing it. And the reality exists, and the leader of the third party touched on that. If you'd managed this province properly, if you'd planned properly, if you'd managed the economy, if you'd managed the budget, you wouldn't be selling assets to pay for infrastructure. You'd be doing it the same way that everyone else did over the decades, and that is managing the province's finances. But, but these people have failed. The minister, I know the minister, he's all upset because maybe he does not sell enough tickets to Pan Am. I, I would say to the members on the government side, I would expect the same respect to the person speaking in the opposition. And the member for Durham, if you're going to continue to heckle, I'd ask you to take your seat. The member for, and, uh, pardon me for one second. I'd like to apologize to the member for, for London West. I meant the member for Winds, Windsor West uh, to come to order. Now I recognize the member for Renfrew, Nipperson, Pembroke again. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and, and I appreciate that intervention because all the time while the minister was speaking, you never heard peep out, peep out of me, uh, which is the way I try to perform in this house as much as possible. But yes, if the, if the government had managed the affairs properly, we wouldn't be talking about selling Hydro One. We're not selling Hydro One. They're not selling Hydro One because they have some philosophical belief that they need to rid themselves of assets. No, they're desperate for cash desperate for cash, and the minister knows it, and they know that the only way they're even going to have a ghost of a chance of balancing the budget by 2017-2018 is to try something different, because they don't have the wherewithal or the willingness to make the fiscal decisions to get there by managing the finances of the provinces on their own, so they're going to have a fire sale. And here they're starting with one of our biggest assets, and that's Hydro One. And we've told them from the start that this is the wrong idea. But you know, I'm not sure why the, the minister would listen to me. He, well, I try to be, and I try to be helpful. But, but surely the minister would, would want to listen to ah, the member from St. Catharines when he was asked about, about the sale of Hydro One. And the minister, the minister of, without portfolio, the deputy government house leader, and a man who's been here longer than my God, he's been here since Moby Dick was a minnow, as they say. <laughs> Jim, Bur oh, I can't say his name. Member St. Catharines. I think anyone who looks objectively at Hydro One, the transmission grid in this province, would recognize that it would naturally be something that is best kept in public ownership and public hands. Oh, but he wasn't the only one. He wasn't the only current cabinet minister. I have a quote here from from the Minister of Agriculture, sitting member for Peterborough. He said, we've been pretty clear. We'll keep Ontario Power Generation and Hydro One in the public hands as they should be. Oh, but wait, wait, there's more. Yes, the member from York West and the minister responsible for seniors. There is nothing the public of Ontario will benefit with the sale of Hydro One. That is why we should try to protect this wonderful facility, which, if sold, will not come back into the hands of the people of Ontario anymore. Whoa. Is he right or is he wrong? You got more, John. Oh, I have more. Oh, yeah. And then there's former members. Former members. How about? Oh, I've got more quotes here than Carter has pills. I'm telling you. Whoa. How about, how about former Premier Dalton McGuinty? 
The sale of the grid that carries electricity to their families' homes is a disaster for consumers. Stop the sale of Hydro One until the people have their say in an election. Families know that selling Hydro One and a tariff power grid is just plain wrong. Selling off this valuable public asset is something the public should be consulted with in an election. Take it to the working families and let them have their say. Put Dalton had more to say. Let the people decide the future of hydro and the future of Ontario in a general election. And he said, the government's poised to sell of Hydro One in a desperate bid to get cash. That's what oh, oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. But how about my predecessor, Sean Conway, from Redford, Nipissing, Pembroke, who sat here for 28 years? And he was, but he couldn't because he had to free up the spot for me. Probably regrets that decision, eh? So, Sean Conway, read through Nipissing Pembroke and Energy Critic. And this is when there was a, a thought they were thinking of selling off Hydro One in the past. And he said, the Tory government has no mandate to sell off the grid, and there has been no public consultation or debate about such a sale. The transmission grid located in the heart of North America is one of Ontario's most valuable assets. It is unbelievable that it is being sold off with any dis without any discussion or debate. Wow. Or how about this one? Selling the crown jewel of our electricity system is a very serious mistake. Yeah. Let the voters decide the future of Hydro One. Yes, no, that's their shot. The grid is a natural monopoly. It's one of the province's most valuable assets, and it should stay in public hands. Absolutely. Or this one, you could, might, you could be making these quotes. <laughs> they could probably be yours as well, but they're Sean Conway's. At no time did they campaign on the sale of the transmission grid, and therefore they have no mandate from the people to proceed with the sale. We're doing good here, Jill. Be quiet. <laughs> the Ontario. Okay. He's talking to the Premier of the time. He says, Drop your ill conceived plans to sell up our transmission grid, or he, meaning Eves, will delay any decisions on the grid or should decide delay any decision on the grid until after the next provincial election. The Ontario Liberals believe that the only meaningful Paul, Paul. The old Ontario Liberals believe that the only meaningful consult, consultation on this sale would be the one that takes place during a provincial election campaign. Even those who are not opposed to the sale of Hydro One were unable to show us a business case that justifies the sale of the grid. They can't show us one because it doesn't exist. Wow. No, it doesn't. Ontario Liberals have argued. Ontario Liberals have argued that putting the transmission grid in private hands will weaken regulation and that it should remain a public responsibility so that the government can safeguard its security. Liberals stand squarely on the side of keeping the transmission grid in public hands. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank you very much. But I am not a liberal. I'm not speaking. These are actually their words. I'm not, I'm not doing a liberal speech right now. I just want you to understand that. So, no, Jim, don't get too upset. I am going through the chair. Michael Bryant, you remember the former Attorney General, Michael Bryant, and 
energy critic. Tell us. Hawking Hydro One without an electoral mandate, without even pretending to consult the public. This is an election issue. Jerry Phillips, great member, Jerry Phillips. It's time for the Premier to step in and ensure that Hydro One's management's vested interest is in the long-term effective management of Hydro One, not in its sell-off. He's a very reasonable man. And how about Dwight Duncan? A little bit, little bit from Dwight Duncan here. We do not believe it's in the province's interest, nor do I, to sell Hydro One. Hydro One is the nerve center of our province. It's our power grid. It takes power from where it's generated to our retail suppliers and communities, and it makes money. <laughs> Dwight Duncan. John Gerritsen. Member from Kingston in the Islands and holder of several portfolios. They, oh my, John Garrison, I think he sent this to us. They may very well use it in order to balance their budget in this year and the next. But for us to sell one of the main assets in the province of Ontario for that purpose is absolute lunacy. It is an asset that's owned by the people of Ontario and should remain in the people's hands. Whoa, well, never mind who he was talking about, Jill. <laughs> Jill, I think there's a phone call for you in the lobby. <laughs> Order. More. Oh, no, they've, man they've mandated that I have to do 12 minutes. I'm doing my best. I'm almost out of time. No, no more time for quotes. Look, I think. I've made it clear, what I've been trying to point out here is clear, is not whether or not we support the referendum tool, but we agree and we have stated clearly that they're doing the wrong thing in the wrong way for the wrong reason. But what is even more clear is they believe they're doing the wrong thing in the wrong way for the wrong reason, because if you look at what they've said for the past 12 years, everything they've said is against what they're doing today. And what they're doing today is exactly what John Garrison said. They're doing this because they're desperate for cash. Thank you, John Garrison, wherever you are. Come on down. We'll bring you in today. We'll, maybe we'll get you five minutes on the floor like we tried to get Rosie Marchese. But that is what's going on with this government. They're desperate desperate for cash, and they're willing to sell off anything to get it. That's the wrong way for the wrong reason, and the people are telling you so.